What is up guys, Brosley here with another video and today I have my beautiful girlfriend Melanie with me. Hello! And we thought about uh, talking about our home country, Switzerland. Three things we really like about Switzerland and... Three things we really don't like about Switzerland. And we thought while we say this to you, at the end we're gonna do a little hike. And it's a short little hike, it's meant to be funny, it's not meant to be all too serious. There's much more to Switzerland and Zurich than that little thing that we're gonna show you but yeah so it's just for fun it's not meant to be offensive it is offensive all right guys but well, before we get into this video I would like you to subscribe to my youtube channel uh, we're so close on the road to like how much 2,000 subscribers or something no I what <laughs> how many it's like three. Oh. Please uh, go down to my socials, you find all the links down below, and let's get started with this video. Okay, so I'll start with uh, the negatives. One of my points is that everything in this freaking country, and especially Zurich, is way too expensive. You cannot expect to have a good lifestyle if you don't earn like at least from eight to nine thousand francs a month some things are so expensive that i just ask myself why <laughs> um like for example an orange will cost you five francs and i'm just like it's just an orange it's just a freaking orange and it's not even that great it's some imported orange so i don't see the point and then add it up to everything at the end of the month you'll be left with absolutely nothing with that being said i couldn't pay my rent this month and we have to move <laughs> out i'm sorry my number three is actually driving and the roads in switzerland because let me tell you it's such a pain in the to drive here because here in Switzerland our highways have two lanes usually sometimes three like in Zurich a little bit outside of Zurich there's three lanes so they're not improving the roads like in Zurich there's mainly just one-way roads like just one lane and stuff like this it's crazy so uh, for me uh, as a guy who likes to drive driving in Switzerland is a pain in the ass. okay um, number two probably one of my top things that I just don't like is the fact that people are very 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 judgmental here judgmental people exist everywhere all around the globe but here they let you know that they don't think highly of you they'll look at you with this killer eye from the corner where they're just like uh, I don't know who you are and what you're doing here, but I don't like you so that's that's how what it feels like when you get into like for example, public transportation, you get into a tram or a bus. Maybe it's because they're bored or maybe it's because, you know, they already made up their mind about who you are, apparently. This whole judgmental thing is something that really bothers me. So for me, number two is actually Mel's number three. It's the prices. We already talked about it, but like everything's so expensive here. And like the thing is, we make more money than the average person here, but everything's more expensive than in the average other parts of the world. So at the end of the day, we're all in the same boat. Mel with number one. Yeah, so I would say Switzerland is very boring. Um, there's nothing, there is a lack of excitement. There's not much to do. Um, you know, uh, well, at least especially right now during this uh, very particular time of life that we're all experiencing. Like back in the day, what we would do is go to the cinema and maybe go to a nice restaurant sometimes. That, that would be something that we could do back then. But now, <laughs> That's not, so sad. Even, not even that is available <laughs> anymore. So th this makes it really depressing and it just proves it over and over again that Switzerland is just very, look, there's just no excitement. For me, number one is actually males, number two. It's actually the mentality of the people. The working culture can be pretty toxic here and I experienced it myself. Um, what I also don't like, Mel mentioned it, when you go into the trams or trains, people always look at you like sometimes I'm just on in the train, let's say I have a bag with me, you open the bag like everyone who's, who, who sees you starts to watch you and is like waiting for you to see what you're getting out of your bag. Like it's really annoying. Like 
dude, do, just do your thing. What are you guys doing? Why are you looking at me? Do you have never seen a book before? I never read a book usually, but uh, I'm like, have you ever seen a phone before or something? Usually it's not a phone or either. Or have you ever seen a human being since you are one as well? Like that's just what it feels like. All right, so uh, I think that was the, the flops. We had quite similar answers. Um, I was expecting that, but we will have some differences probably on what we like about Switzerland. So yeah, I'm excited to know what you think is good here. Okay, I will start this time. On number three is gonna be the trains and railways. Oh, why is that? Because, in general, the trains, even though they're not as frequent as in other countries, but the trains are on time usually. Basically, every village in Switzerland has a bus stop or a train station, so that's pretty cool, I think. What I like about uh, Switzerland is uh, the fact that there is clean water. Um, that's not something that every country has. Uh, the, where you can just drink tap water and you're not gonna get poisoned or something <laughs> Like there's nothing poisonous in there that you would get some sort of illness. There's no risk in that I like that about Switzerland. That's actually a good point. I mean you can drink from the mount the fountains outside I mean I get my water usually from the toilet. I just <laughs> drown my glass. It's, it's really good. It's drinkable. So gross. For me number two is the money and salary in Switzerland because yes um, everything's expensive here the Swiss salary doesn't really benefit you here but then when you go on vacation or to other countries then there you're gonna really see the benefits of the Swiss franc because usually everything seems very cheap in other countries for you that's a pro I think that's a good point I would say yeah but then what you're saying is basically earn your money here and then get the out. People who live near, let's say, France, they just go over the border to do their shopping and then they come back and do this every day and people hate them for it. Of course, she would never do that and she would never go to Italy and then just go and... Cross the border to Milan and then do all my shopping there, buy all the food there, and that's not me. That's not her. No. Okay. That's not me. She that would that never do that. Absolutely not. Never. <laughs> Switzerland is really organized. Overall, I know a lot of countries where things take way longer actually because they're so disorganized. I feel much safer here in regards to that and I think that's really important. My number one top thing about Switzerland is cheese because I just love cheese. I mean soft cheese, hard cheese, but especially melted cheese and Switzerland is like the paradise for melted cheese because we have like Two very special dishes in Switzerland. Fondue is one, and the other one? Raclette. But then also the raclette is just basically a piece of melted cheese and you can put some toppings on it and it's like, it's very good. Maybe we'll try some on camera sometime for you guys. My number one point that I like, so Switzerland is a country where you have easy access to other countries as well. So from Switzerland, you can just take your car and just uh, decide wherever you want to go. Like if you want to go to Italy, it's just three hours. If you want to go to France, it might take a bit more, but it's not that big of a deal. It's actually less. It's, or it's less. It's about one hour to the border. And Germany is even less, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really easy to get from Switzerland to another country. That's so cool. Not many countries have that and I appreciate that. I hope you like this little inside of Switzerland. Now we're gonna take you on a little hike. Mel's actually, she said it's cold out here. I don't think so. I think it's pretty warm. It is, it's three degrees. How can it be warm? It is what? warm. Look at the snow. <laughs> Look, and you're saying it's warm. It is warm, I can walk around in you're a t-shirt right now. You're <laughs> crazy. So are you familiar with the Japanese uh, cherry blossom tree? It's very beautiful, very romantic, very magical. During the springtime, uh, beautiful leaves, pink leaves grow. Uh, we have something similar. This, whatever this is, um, looks <laughs> sort of like uh, that. Okay, we actually have a nice view here. Let me see. Let me show you guys. 
I mean, it's decent. It's okay. It's right? nice. Look, there's like a lake, and then there's like mountains and nice uh, little houses. Typical Swiss. <laughs> you know, very nice. Did you like what we did today? Yes, I mean, it's all right. But actually, I mean, there's not much more to do. Usually, I'm just at home gaming. So yeah. As you can see, uh, as soon as the sun goes down, it, it gets pretty quiet in Switzerland. And so, I don't know, for me, I like to go out in the late night in the evening, even if I do shopping. So if you're in Zurich, probably you won't see me outside before like eight o'clock or something in the evening. So yeah, that's just my life. So guys, this wraps up the top three things we like about Switzerland and the top three we don't like about Switzerland. And our little hike that we did because we had nothing better to do today on a Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video and if you want to see more of me and her, then please uh, go down and subscribe and uh, we're happy to see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Bye.